This is 89.3 The Raven. So I'm sitting in with uh, Daniel Dorr right now. He's with Canna Media and the executive producer of an amazing new documentary that's just released about the late legend Prince. The new unofficial documentary highlighting the never-before-told stories of Prince's rise to fame from the streets of North Minneapolis. Good day to you, Dan. Oh, good day to you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we uh, our listeners in Edmonton, Alberta here at Raven FM 89.3. We play a ton of Prince. I'm a huge Prince fan for a, a lifetime fan. So uh, we're. I was super excited to to see this film was coming out. I was basically, I put a post immediately on my Facebook that said, just take my money. Like I've never pulled out my credit card. <laughs> I've, I've never pulled out my credit uh, card that fast in, in my life, right? I was like, you know what? This yeah. is... Uh, I've been waiting to see another film, uh, anything with Prince. You know, I've read a couple books. Um, of course, watched yeah. Purple Rain 15 times in my life, <laughs> um, like, any, like all of us. But uh, yeah, what can, the, uh, what can the listeners and fans expect from this new documentary? Well, it's a different take than you can imagine because when I, what I did was I went to North Minneapolis, which is his hometown, and uh, just started connecting with people. And the very first individual that I connected with was a radio guy named Q Bear. And Q Bear is the town's voice. He, uh, he's been on air for 40 years. There was no black radio in North Minneapolis when he first started. And, uh, and he got together with someone and put this radio station together and, and they launched. And he was the first one to play Prince music. Uh, when Prince was a kid. So here I'm right in the community where Prince grew up. Then he introduces me to a guy named Spike Moss, who is probably the most remarkable individual I've ever met. And Spike was Prince's mentor for six years. Uh, he was the one who taught Prince uh, and wow. the teachers and everything. There, so there was a community center called The Way. And The Way wasn't just a community center. Here's a basketball and a, a guitar, go and learn how to play. In the civil rights era in the 60s, uh, when Prince was growing up, where he grew up, uh, there were civil rights uh, issues, outbreaks, there was riots in the street, very much like what we had when, uh, you know, this past year, and it, it full circle. Um, well, Spike was a seven-time Golden Glove boxing champion, and he gave up his career to help get young black youth off the street, and he created this, he uh, was one of the people that created this place called The Way. And as a young team, Prince attended there, left his, left his family and ended up with uh, another family. And Spike Moss became his mentor uh, and taught him how to face the audience. Prince couldn't face the audience. Yeah, he would very, always fiddle with his equipment. Yeah, yeah he's very, very shy. shy, yeah. Well, um, that Spike Moss was his pseudo father. Uh, and once I got to know Spike, I thought, now I know the story of Prince. And that's this movie. So this movie really infiltrates that world like you can't imagine. It's it's really quite incredible. And, and people who really, truly knew this person and this individual. I have to tell you, he's, he's probably my age. I grew up with this music. Never really followed him. Now that I made the movie, I'm in awe of this person. Absolutely in awe. Amazing. Uh, his... Yeah, um, and I seen you had an incredible cast. Speaking about the man, including Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, Macy Gray, and Chuck D, just to name a few. Uh, what was it like uh, working on a film about such an amazing artist and person? Well, what I was really astounded with was was how much love there was for this guy. I mean, I, you know, I again, I knew Prince, but unlike most artists, this guy did all his dancing, singing, writing. Uh, he played every single instrument. I talked to all of uh, all sorts of uh, uh, celebrities in Hollywood that have connected with Prince, and they all said the same thing. He was perfect at every instrument he picked up. I, I mean, who does that? Who, yeah. Who's like that? And I don't think any of us really understood that until he passed away, until at least I kind of got inside the world and started talking to these people. You know, people say that he was the best guitarist alive. We all saw that thing on, on you know, where he did... Uh, what was the song uh, My Guitar Gently Weeps and he did that solo I've, I've seen stuff on Prince that mind boggling like private little performances oh, wow. he used to open up his used to invite his fans into his home every week and just have these private little concerts for 15 people. Yeah, that's incredible. And and uh, I know a lot of people didn't know till after he passed how amazing he was. I am one 
who did because I had followed him since I was a kid and knew he was very multifaceted with uh, instruments. And I still remember uh, one time I seen him, I, I think it was on the Rosie O'Donnell show back here. So that, that kind of dates it a bit um, in the nineties. And, and he was sitting at a piano. can't remember what song he was playing, but you know, he had his, his shiny white uh, guitar with the gold hardware that was right. in, in the symbol of the, of the print symbol on his back. And he was playing this beautiful song on the piano and all in one motion, he just kicks the bent, get the piano bench off and swings the guitar around and boom into this smoking solo. And I was like, that is Prince like right there. Right. You That's know? Prince. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that because, uh, you, you know, I, I now have met so many people like you who really, when you're a Prince fan, you are diehard Prince fan. Yeah, it's yes. it's deep inside of you. Yeah, and that's that's what I've learned. And and not only that, the 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 age group of fan base for this guy is just incredible. Like age, still they have yeah. purple nights with eighteen year olds yeah. playing Prince music. <laughs> yeah, Amazing. And, and even at that last Super Bowl there, that was in Minneapolis there, where they they did the tribute, which was which is amazing as well. Incredible. We yeah. were there, and it was just. Wow, what a what a what a moment! Yeah, awesome. So I'm Relic with the Tribe Drive on 89.3 The Raven. Where can people find uh, the film? How can they view the film? Well, right now it's it's online streaming. So uh, if you if you go to um, on the north side, uh, you'll be able to uh, connect with it. So the the there's uh, there's kind of a limited ticketing right now going on just for. Um, Probably this coming week, uh, it'll get released later. But this was a this was kind of a limited release. One of the reasons why we were a little unsure as to re uh, releasing the film now was because of the trial. We were in Minneapolis with the uh, Floyd uh, George Floyd trial, and and just thought maybe it's perhaps inappropriate. But yeah. on the other hand, Prince's twenty first, uh, or, or sorry, the twenty on the twenty first last week was his fifth anniversary of his passing, and that was the day we had scheduled to release it, but. You know, it's just a somber moment in Minneapolis. And, and after after this after this private viewing, people is it uh, they can they can go ahead and view it on on different platforms after that. Yeah, well, right now you'll be able to buy a ticket if you go to uh, on the north side dot com. Um, there's a website there, and all of these interviews with everyone and I've extensive interviewed like people who, well, uh, uh, Kim Barry who was with him for 29 years. She did his hair, uh, but they were also best friends. They went touring together and talk about inside stories. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't, I'm not talking about uh, dirt on Prince, you know, divulging all yeah, this, this yeah. stuff. It is pure love. And it's overwhelming to, to hear the love that these people have had for him. He's a remarkable human being just incredible indeed he is and mm -hmm. he was and he always will be he'll be remembered he that for, for till the end of time uh sitting in with daniel door with canna media the executive producer of mr nelson on the north side um which will give you uh some never before told stories of prince's rise to fame from the streets of north minneapolis and thanks for sitting in with us dan i really appreciate your time i'll be honest i haven't seen the film i'll be watching tonight and i've been really looking forward to this film I can't wait to get your reaction. Thanks so much. Sounds good. And you take care. Okay, you too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. This is 89.3 The Raven. <laughs>